you need three video left view right view and the middle view so I recorded three different video where this video are overlapping at certain areas so the stitcher will recognize where to stitch the view I got the name of the file one two three okay so the first one is the leftmost second is the middle third is the rightmost I put it in auto pano the problem with auto pano is all video must be of the same frame rate so it will reject if the length of the video is not the same so what I'll do is I will trim the video using a video editing software like Camtasia or any other software make it equal length so what I do in Camtasia or any other software I put everything into different layer of timeline I arrange them on top of each other begin at zero second I will trim off all the layer together so they are of the same length so my video is quite short five seconds or so I select the audio and remove all the audio for all the tracks so my video basically don't have any sound I can add the soundtrack later so I go to the end of the video and I will trim all the three layers together so they are now of equal length now I will publish the video one by one layer by layer so there are three layers one two and three when I export only the topmost layer will be visible so here I export the topmost layer which is video number three as mp4 video and then I will delete layer number the top layer and I will publish the next layer so I will repeat this process for the next two layers so I get three videos one two and three mp4 and now they are of the same length Here I'm deleting the topmost track, track 4, which is video 3. I delete it. So I'm now left with the second video as the top layer. So when I export this time, only the second video will be visible. So I save it as file number 2. Okay, I will click done. I will delete uh, the track number 3. So I'm left with the last layer. So I repeat the same process, I will get 1, 2, and 3 mp4. Now I will put this in auto pano, so it will be acceptable this time. I will click the stitch button, I choose the lens mode, and then click the stitch button. Click OK, you see the preview, if it's not working, you should change the lens type either you change the size or from fish eye to standard so I change my lens to 35 and try standard and I click stitch again okay 35 standard and you'll get the output if it's correctly stitched together then you are lucky if if not you have to record again and make sure your video is overlapping at particular area so autopano can recognize where to stitch then you click the render button render it will produce the stitch video If we want to upload to YouTube, you need to inject metadata so YouTube can recognize this as a 360 video. The name of the software that you need to download is Spatial Media Metadata Injector. You choose the stitch video and then click the inject metadata button and then you can 
upload to YouTube using the same method as you upload a normal video okay once you're done when you view your video you will see the 360 navigator on top left of your video so if your video is too short you should pause your video and try to use the navigation or you can pan drag left or right an easier method of course you can use 360 camera record and then convert to a viewable format and then upload it to YouTube okay this one using Rico Tita